What excites me in particular about the v and Museum of Design is the way that cutting-edge contemporary architecture is being fully embraced by the whole of the city and by the whole of the country. It is a completely unique building. I don't think we would have been able to build this building 10 years ago given the nature of its design and the technology and the preciseness of the engineering that's required to achieve it. Whereas your average building is, is a very traditional frame, uh, very simple, straightforward. The design of this has required engineering, sculptural techniques that are traditional in that it's concrete and it's formwork. But to actually build that structure in its temporary state requires very, very creative engineering. We've got 20 different elevations and external facade walls, and this is wall 14. This is one of the most extreme. This is our first delivery of precast planks that will be going on this sample panel. So each plank follows the curvature of the wall as well, so each plank's unique. So as you're walking into the new VNA, you'll see all this concrete stepping in and out of the walls. One of the things that we needed to do, because the building is really ambitious, it stretches out into the river, we needed to construct our dam that allowed us to drain out the sea and excavate down to create that part of the building. And then eventually, all of this gets stripped away and where we're standing, the sea will return right up to the front of the building. Oh, wow. You can really start to see what it's going to be like when it's, when it's finished and how complex it is. The external walls that you see, you see the red and yellow formwork. All that formwork actually holds up the structure until all the floors are in place and the roof's in place. And once the roof's in place, the structure itself takes over. Following on from that, the precast panel planks that are going to be positioned on the external elevations will start to appear and people then will see through 2017 the design concept come to life. The beauty of the cliff is coming from the long, long dialogue between earth and water. I want to translate that kind of as a, as a beauty to contemporary building. It's very different from concrete box, very different from the 20th century's museum. The inclination of the facade can give a different type of experience. If it is too vertical, the vertical void rejects the people. The building should invite people to the front. I've been involved as an architect, a designer, and a project manager for 30 years in delivering building projects. And this is without doubt the pinnacle of, of those 30 years. Working with the client groups and living in Dundee and sensing the excitement and engagement of the public with the building as it comes out of the ground is, is also very exciting. I never ever thought I'd get the opportunity to work on that type of building. The complexities of it drive us every day to stretch our imaginations. It's just a once in a lifetime opportunity. Most of architects in 20th century thought about their own building, how to create beautiful objects. This is not as an independent building. It is a part of the big, ambitious urban design and can change the community. So I'm very happy to work for that kind of project.